forget about everything you know about AI because we have a new breed of AI agents that don't just follow instructions, but can rewrite their own brain, learn on the fly and evolve themselves. Instead of being locked into specific tools like a digital Swiss army knife, self-evolving AI agents create whatever they need in real time, crafting custom capabilities and tools from scratch and getting better at solving problems we never even taught it to handle. I will walk you through some fundamental concepts and breakthroughs in self-evolving AI agents, including this very recent Alita agentic system that is introducing something we haven't really experienced before, building custom MCPs and tools on the fly. So how does it work? We know that autonomous agents capable of independently planning and executing complex tasks on behalf of users are not new phenomena. In fact, they belong to what we call generalist agents because they can generalize beyond task specific solutions. Manus and OpenAI's deep research are exactly like this. But what got in the way was overly relying on large scale manual engineering, specifically for workflows, which meant that many needed tools had to be considered beforehand and hard coded into the system so the agents can access them. This alone came with fundamental challenges for real world agentic systems. One is that sometimes it's really difficult and impractical to go ahead and just predefine all the tools required for the wide variety of real world tasks an agent might encounter. This is called incomplete coverage. As you can guess, this inhibits the development of adaptive behaviors. For example, creative use of existing tools or creating new tools and plans, which can be solved by self-evolving agents like Elita. I will touch on this point again. But the second annoying problem is that the interface or environment of different tools are not always compatible with the agent in your system. This is called agent tool mismatch. For example, many useful tools are not written in Python, which is now the, the standard language that mainstream agent frameworks are written in. This alone comes with scalability issues down the line. Now, we know that Anthropic tried to solve this second issue by introducing MCP or model context protocols. If you're new to this, MCP is essentially a standardized way for agents interacting with external tools and services or even materials on the web. MCPs provide context to LLMs, so these LLMs can better integrate data and tools. Really clever idea because it gives your AI tools the ability to trigger actions in external systems, like sending messages or creating records. But this in and of itself presents two issues. One is that this approach also more or less relies on the list of tools that reside in MCP servers. And two, because MCP servers exist separately from the agent itself, for example, stored locally or accessed remotely via API. Let me break down how it works. First, the agent's SDK or software development kit will call list tools on the MCP servers each time the agent is run. This makes the LLM aware of the MCP server's tools. Second is tool discovery. Based on the user's prompt or request, it can check what tools are available from connected MCP servers. And third, tool execution. When the LLM calls the tool from an MCP server, the SDK calls call tools on that server. As you can see, there is no validation stage, for example, control mechanisms for tool risk levels. So dangerous tools like delete files are treated the same as harmless read files. There is also little to no instruction on the choice of tools to be fetched, so bills can unexpectedly soar. A general trust on tools can also lead to dangerous prompt injections. Now back to our paper Alita. This agentic system generates task specific MCPs by itself from open source. Essentially it's dynamically creating or configuring MCP servers as needed internally, rather than just connecting to pre-existing ones, which would be the truly revolutionary self-evolution aspect of this agentic system. That may sound like a sci-fi, but it gives the agentic system designer full control over the how and what regarding the tools. On the design level, a more simple and minimalist design of these self-evolving agents like Alita is very practical for reducing their footprints and sizes. The design elements are actually quite interesting. 
As the authors mention, Alita is designed with the principles of minimal predefinition and maximal self-evolution. So minimal predefinition means reducing reliance on manually predefined tools and workflows. And maximal self-evolution means allowing these bare minimum capabilities to reproduce other systems and tools independently on the fly. So how does it actually work? A self-evolving agentic system only needs three components, a manager, a web agent, and a tool builder. The manager takes the request or task from the user and analyzes it, then calls the web agent to search for solutions, and based on the search results, if needed, instructs the tool building kit what and how to build a specific tool and execute the task with it. The fascinating part of this system is undoubtedly the toolkit structure. So the toolkit includes MCP brainstorming, script generating tool, and code running tool. Specifically, MCP brainstorming detects functional gaps, then identifies necessary supplementary tools and outlines tool specifications. Script generating tool receives the tool specification outlines and then generates appropriate tools tailored to the task requirement. Finally, the code running tool then executes generated code in isolated environments and caches the output for potential MCP servers generation. Even more interesting is that as the task demands evolve, this three component system can readjust to the demands in real time, so effectively change or modify its own output and behavior constantly. As they say, the proof is in the pudding. These black bars represent the performance of Alita compared to both Manus and OpenAI's deep research on the GAIA benchmark. And the main reason Alita could outperform is its excellent reasoning and coding capabilities that can generate tools and MCPs in real time. Which brings me to the main limitation of self-evolving agentic systems such as Alita, which is over-reliance on the coding capability of the LLM. When the LLM's coding capability is really poor, this method will perform worse than traditional generalist agents. This means self-evolving agents require stronger generative models, and generalist agents require stronger toolkit via MCP servers. This is an interesting trade-off that I personally watch out for new developments to see which method would eventually get us closer to AGI. But just in case you are interested, I have already covered another super fascinating breakthrough large concept models in these videos.